Welcome to First Word Pharma's News Roundup for October 16th, brought to you today by editorial researcher Olivia Roger. In our top news story, a phase 3 study of XL Lixis's Cabomedics in patients with advanced hepatocellular carcinoma met its main goal, significantly improving overall survival versus placebo. The company noted that based on results from the Celestial trial, it plans to seek expanded FDA approval of the drug in this indication in the first quarter of 2018. The drug maker also said that the FDA granted priority review to a marketing application seeking clearance of cabomedics for patients with previously untreated advanced renal cell carcinoma. Exalixis indicated indicated that the agency assigned the filing a target review date of February 15, 2018. In other news, Roche entered a deal with Warp Drive Bio to develop multiple classes of antibiotics with activity against drug-resistant gram-negative pathogens. Under the agreement, Warp Drive will receive up to $87 million in upfront payment, option fees, and milestone payments for preclinical events, as well up to $300 million for further milestones. In addition, in documents published ahead of an FDA advisory panel meeting, agency reviewers said that Novo Nordisk's semaglutide is effective and does not cause heart problems. The company is seeking approval of the GLP-1 analog for the treatment of type 2 diabetes in adults. And finally, an FDA advisory panel voted unanimously that data show that Airy Pharmaceuticals, Ropressa, reduces elevated intraocular pressure in patients with open-angle glaucoma or ocular hypertension. The committee also voted 9-1 to 1 that the experimental Rho kinase inhibitor's efficacy outweighs its safety risks. To read these and other stories in full, please visit firstwordpharma.com. Are you able to keep up with all the news and views in the biosimilars market? First Word's Biosimilar Index is the only dedicated biosimilar and non-comparable biologics intelligence tool available. Get ahead of your competition and learn more today. 